to me, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's my sense of freedom, I guess you could say. Like, if I'm having a stressful day, I can get on my bike and everything goes away. Like, you don't think about anything. Everything is just like, it's there. Everything's on point when you're on the bike. You feel like Superman. So I've been riding my whole life. Around seven, that's when I, that's when I really turned it on. And I was like, hey, this is what I want to do. I feel like a lot of people have, you know, pity parties. People, I'll say, I'll say, hey, what happened to you? And I'll tell them my story and they'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry. But I mean, to me, I don't understand how you're sorry because I do, you know, I do more things than people that can walk and do use their legs. So you want to feel down about it. There's no reason to when you're still living, you're waking up every day, you, you should be happy. You should be happy that you made it to the next day. I didn't even really know what paralyzed was, but once it happens, it's just kind of like, boom, it just clicks. It's kind of scary. 15, like my parents weren't there. I was by myself. The last lap I came around from the outside and tried to jump in, it was wet and I didn't know it. And I just lost all the momentum and I didn't make it all the way. And I went over the handlebars and the bike landed on my back. Try to get up, nah, my legs won't work. Try to get up a second time, I was like, man, something's wrong. And then before I knew it, it just felt like somebody set my back on fire, man, it was just burning. And I remember everyone running over to me and crying. The first thing the doctor said to me is like, you'll never walk again, you'll never ride again. And I just looked at him and I was like, you're wrong. You want to show them, show them the opposite, you know? Like, if I say I'm going to get walking again, I'm going to get walking. If I say I'm going to get riding again, I'm going to get riding, you know? Like, I'm, I'm a man of my word. A motocross racer finds himself shocked and stunned as he's turned away from a competition here in North Central Florida because of his inability to walk. The 20-year-old traveled hundreds of miles and rode in preliminary races to chase his dream, only to be told here that you're disqualified. And Loretta's is the number one. It's the, it's the biggest amateur national. Like, you're one of the 40, the 40th fastest riders in, in the world to, to go and race that. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna train and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Loretta's. So I signed up for all the qualifiers, and it's kind of like you have to do a qualifier, and then a regional, and then you make it to Loretta's. Well, I qualified all the way up until going to Loretta's. I got there, and they're like, you can't ride. What do you mean I can't ride? You guys took my money. You know, you, you let me qualify. Why can't I ride this big race? And uh, they didn't really have a legitimate answer. It was kind of pretty much because I was in a wheelchair. Hey, if, a rider falls and gets knocked and gets knocked out. He can't pick himself up. It's kind of like the same deal. So why can't I ride? We almost went to court with it, and they knew they wouldn't win, so they kind of backed out and they let me ride. I'm gonna try to qualify again and and go and be the first paralyzed guy to win the national title. It's nothing that's gonna get in my way, it's nothing that's gonna stop me, nothing's gonna hold me back. I'm I'm going to Loretta's this year. People tell me I'm inspiring. To me, I'm just riding a, I'm just riding a dirt bike. That's all I'm doing. I mean, you have so many obstacles in life. And uh, I just I just deal with it very well. Every day, just every day me living, having fun, just doing whatever I love to do. It inspires other people and it helps them, so. I think, it feel, I think it's a great thing. And I feel like that's one of the reasons that it happened to me, just because I can cope with it, I can deal with it, and at the same time, I can help other people while I'm doing what I'm doing. I know that I'm here for, for a reason, for a purpose. It's the fact of having some people on my side that kind of push me and encourage me. It's kind of like, you know, yeah, I got this. I can deal with it. Like, I'm, I can do it. Let's, let's go. Don't let anyone tell you no or no, you can't do it. Don't let anyone shoot you down. I mean, because I've been in that same place and it doesn't feel good. But once you're on top, it's like the best feeling in the world.